Today we're going to be looking at a tree that can really tolerate cold winds, exposure and damp feet and that is the hybrid poplar. How you doing everyone? Welcome to a bit of a wet and windy day at Tappanoff Farm in Aberdeenshire. So we only have a small row of hybrid poplar here at Tappanoff Farm at the present day, but that is something that we're going to be expanding. Today we're going to be taking some cuttings. Poplar is very easy to make cuttings from to propagate around where you want some more fast growing tree species. We planted this row behind me two years ago in 2019, predominantly as a windbreak. Our main wind comes from this direction blowing across this field where we have grazing for our goats. You can just hear them in the background actually. And we have a small silver pasture grazing system here for the goats. So the poplar has been planted as part of that silver pasture system, um, but also as a windbreak for the more, some of the more sensitive trees that follow in, the, in our rows of grazing and productive trees. So as I said, these were planted two years ago, just as one foot cuttings. And, and you can see they're, they're definitely my height now. These would have been a lot taller if they hadn't been grazed down by uh, some of our goat kids that we had in 2019. So a hybrid poplar, like most poplars can tolerate um, wet feet, it can tolerate cold conditions that Scotland can throw at it, wind and rain, uh, and also grows incredibly fast, so over six foot per year. Typically it is planted as a windbreak like we're using it. It's also planted as a fast growing privacy screen. It's used for, for providing cover for game birds. It's also used as a biomass, um, a wood fuel. It can be coppiced, it can be pollarded. And this is of course one of the main reasons we're interested in it is uh, growing a fast growing timber species. Yes, it is quite the wet wood. Given the opportunity to season the wood, it burns very well. The footage you're seeing just now was taken in its first year of growth. As you can see just six months after planting, it was already very tall. Beautiful, large, glossy green leaves, which make a fantastic feed for our goats. This is another reason we've chosen to grow a fast growing species such as hybrid poplar, is that we're looking at uh, growing forage species for the goats and the sheep and also something that we can dry as tree hay. So these large leaves that um, the poplar produces uh, dry very well. Uh, and can store and then be fed to our ruminants in the winter. So all in all, I think it's got great promise as a tree, certainly for us here on our farm. The plan is with this hedge certainly is to treat this as a bit of a nursery. And so today we're gonna to be making some cuttings to propagate around the farm. We're gonna be coppicing these. They'll send out multiple stems, multiple shoots from that base um, and we'll let them then grow on still providing a windbreak and selectively coppice again when we want some wood fuel. So it is a very simple job. You can very quickly gather a lot of material which can then be propagated. Before you know it, you've planted meters of hedging. Uh, so it's a very giving plant. We're gonna be making one foot cuttings. We've got a pair of secateurs and a pair of loppers. And I'm just gonna make my way down this row of trees, cutting them right down at ground level. Within the next few months, they'll start growing again. And before you know it, we should have six foot trees by potentially by September, October this year. We've grown these poplar through landscape fabric. Um, when you're putting out cuttings, it can be often very useful to grow the cutting through landscape fabric. It will kill off the grass below, give the poplar cuttings or the willow cuttings just that extra chance to really get started in life and get growing quickly. You could plant through uh, a cardboard mulch. Um, you could remove the grass first and just plant into bare soil. But really you don't have to do much soil preparation at all for putting these cuttings in the ground. It does help if you've got soft soil to be able to push these in. I've often used some sort of um, implement to make the holes first if the ground is a bit hard. 
uh, whether that's a metal spike or um, an old screwdriver, something to make um, a pilot hole first to be able to then drive these rods in. You don't want very thin material, you also don't want them too thick, um, although the th thick rods will, I think on the whole, um, perform better than the thin ones which could tend to dry out and, and maybe not grow. It's not really um, a massive scientific approach to this, uh, it's very easy to do. Um, these things want to grow, the willow, the poplar, they just want to grow. So make your cuttings, you can make two foot cuttings, three foot cuttings, whatever. You've got to put them in the ground, you've got to make sure the buds are facing upwards. That's about it, it's so simple. Stick them in the ground and within six months you're going to have very big trees within a few years, they're going to be towering. <laughs>